GR428, how's it feel? Feels good, it's hard. Like I mentioned, I was in my mind I was getting ready to try to go on 425, but I guess I'm seeing the reality of it, but I think I still did um, I'm still proud of myself for that race. It was tough. I didn't really know what to expect going into it, really. Um, but once I knew I was a little off at 800, I knew I needed to, to get in, and I started moving with 600 to go. I really was going, and then 400. I was like, you just gotta push. I, like, I knew I was getting tired. My legs weren't feeling so good. So I was like, I just have to go, I have to fight, like, move up towards the pack because it's spreading out a lot. So, I mean, I'm really happy with that PR, but I had higher expectations, but this is a reality and I'm so really excited like, to be here and to experience this and come out with the PR. So at the end of the day, I'm really pleased. Coming off of, you know, you're defending indoor champion, so do you feel the pressure that's going to be hard to defend it? I mean, there's some younger ladies now running some fast mile times out there, so what are you, what's your confidence level going into to try to defend the title? I feel pretty confident, like, I feel like at the end of the day I'm a competitor, so whatever the race turns out to be, I'm ready for whatever, a same kick, maybe harder from the gun, so, I mean, you can't really control the situation ever, so you just have to be prepared to go against whoever in any type of race. So, cool. I'm excited for what's to come. What is, what do, you, do you know you're running at Big 12s yet? I'm not sure. That's up in the air. <laughs> so we'll see in two weeks. Cool. Well, best of luck then, and we'll see you there, and then at NCAAs. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Thanks, Kayla.